In today's video, I show you how to install the Arch Linux distribution. It is a very famous distribution that we can use instead of Debian if we prefer. I'm going to show you how to install the XFCE 4 desktop, a web browser like Chromium and customize everything to leave it as you are seeing. The first thing we are going to do is to open the Termix application. Once we have opened the application, we are going to execute the command you see on the screen to install the Linux distribution called Arch. After this, we are going to log directly into the distribution we have just installed. Once we have logged into the distribution, we are going to update the repositories with the command you can see. After that, we are going to update all the packages to the latest version. When we run the command to update the packages, we will see that it gives us a choice between two options related to bus. Let's choose the first one. Then, when it asks us if we want to continue, we say yes. Next, we are going to install the package related to the desktop that we are going to use this time XFC for. When we execute the command to install this package, it will ask us if we want to install only one dependency or if we want to install all of them. If we hit the Enter key, we will install all the packages we need automatically. We say yes, we want to continue, and then all the packages will start to be installed, which will take some time. Finally, we have to install the sudo package. This package will be used to give permissions to the user we are going to create next. To create a user, we are going to use the command you are seeing on the screen with the user at utility. Finally, we are going to configure the password for the user we have just created. To do this, we use the password command and type a password. Although it is not visible on the screen, when we finish, we press the Enter key. To give super user permissions, we have to edit the file that you are seeing on the screen. We will look for where the root user is and we will add the information that you are seeing. Now we are going to exit the distribution and we are going to start directly to the desktop with the script that I leave you in the description of the video. As you can see once we launch the script we can use the XFC4 desktop with the Arch distribution. Next, what we are going to do is to install the Chromium browser to be able to use it inside Pirut Distro. We open a terminal and run the command that I leave on the screen. If we want to launch the Chrome browser, we must add the tag no sandbox in the terminal. Now I'm going to start configuring and customizing the whole desktop. I'm going to start by downloading a wallpaper from the Wallhaven page. From this page, you can download any image you like directly to your desktop. I am going to download it in a new folder that I am going to create called Images and at the end of the video, I will put it as background. Now we are going to download a desktop theme. These same steps I did in the Termix video without using Pirut so if you want to see the steps in more detail I recommend you to watch the video below in the description. Once we download the file, we have to unzip it. When we have unzipped it now, we will have to move it to the folder called .themes. In the case that this folder does not exist, we will simply create it. We repeat the same process, but this time for an icon pack. We will follow the same steps, download the file, unzip it and move it, but this time we will use the .icons folder instead of the .themes folder. If this folder does not exist, we have to create it. Once we have finished, 
We are going to set both the icon pack we have just installed and the general theme as the system appearance. To do this, we go to the system settings in the appearance section. In the style tab, we will be able to choose the general desktop theme while in the icons tab, we will select the icon pack. Now we are going to apply the downloaded theme to the system windows. To do this, we go back to the settings, but this time to the windows manager section. In the SIDL tab, we will select the theme we like the most. Another configuration that I recommend to do is to modify the lower panel to be able to launch our Chromium browser. For it, we will click with the right button on the panel. We will go to the configuration and inside it, we will go to the items tab. Here we will select the browser launcher and change it to Chromium. In addition, we will have to add the parameter no sandbox to launch it as we did from the terminal. Now we can launch our browser directly from the application panel. Finally, we are going to put the wallpaper that we downloaded at the beginning of the video. Right-click on the desktop and go to the desktop settings. Here in the window that opens, we change the default folder to our images folder and select the wallpaper we downloaded earlier. Finally, I have configured the terminal with ZSH and the theme power level 10K. I leave at the end of the video the whole process I followed to configure it in case anyone is interested, but it is the same process that you can find in my videos about ZSH and customize the terminal. I have installed NeoFetch to print on the screen the distribution information and make a nice screenshot. I hope you liked the video, like and share it. Leave in the comments what other videos you want to see on the channel and I remind you that you can join the Telegram and Discord communities. Finally, I leave you the process without voice over how I have done all the terminal configuration. It took me a little longer than with Debian, but I managed to do everything anyway. Enjoy it.